Hello my friends, Dave of Exam Travel Market Opportunities again for today, January 16th. Uh, so quickly let's start with the gold again and gold is still ranging as we can see. It's still in this uh, uh, range uh, here and uh, I expect uh, on the long term uh, some I mean on higher time frames I expect some correction because if you look to the daily we can see that the market was going up and now it's in this range and we can see these pin bars these pins these wicks on the top so uh, which means the rejections that the positions are being the closed there and what is basically happening behind the charts is that uh, the market makers are closing these uh, this is the wicks which we can see on the higher time frames so they're using the big volume, uh, they're trading a lot on the tops, so that could be the position closing uh, on the tops which is made by the market makers before they will make uh, some uh, correction. However, this correction will must bring uh, the strong dollar, which is slowly happening. However, what I expect is still, as I said, or and already mentioning it again, but uh, repeating is uh, always good. So we see this uh, level which uh, looks like a strong one and we have one, two, three, four touches. This is five, almost almost one, you know, so the people think, ah, oh, we're making the lower low. Someone even see that uh, it's br broken this uh, last low. So the traders enter it short here because they didn't want to miss the move down and now they are trapped in this, uh, in this uh, range. Uh, what I said that I expect and I'm still uh, in this trade which I entered here and I was expecting the market makers to hit these stop losses which are here and they are still growing around to 1 to 9, 9 level so I think that uh, they will first come up to attract the people which will enter the longs here so they will have more, more people on the long side and uh, these shorters which are almost no one here so this is what they're trying to do they're trying to turn the market uh, sentiment uh, of the retail traders to the long before they start to taking it to the shorts uh, i think they need this correction uh, because if they want to continue higher they would like to they would love to buy for some more cheaper price to accumulate the positions and move it higher so but before, as I said, they will do it. Uh, I expect it to move higher. This trade uh, wasn't so lucky one because I bought it on the top, uh, which I shouldn't do. I have learned lessons from us. I'm stuck in this trade for now. And uh, uh, this is the 0 0.01, so I'm not doing uh, any, you know. Uh, so, what? Uh, is my suggestion is uh, I'm waiting it to bring to the top and from here I will start to look for the shorts down uh, at least maybe somewhere here or I don't know yet I don't want to predict in too much far future so still expecting it to the bring to the top this is the euro I have similar trade here uh, which I entered and I was expecting this stop harm however uh, the market sentiment changed a lot uh, quickly and uh, we see that the market is starting to move down but this move down is not is uh, pretty convincing me that uh, it will be uh, pretty that it could be continuation of the long-term downtrend uh, if I show uh, if in continuation of the long-term downtrend so um, this trade might uh, will be a losing one so i will wait maybe uh, till end of the week what's gonna happen around these levels and uh, if then then occasionally i will close it uh, in the loss what i have uh, in my long term view is uh, I'll, and uh, i have this trade this euro usd which i posted in my uh, telegram channel so we've been waiting here with the short and uh, now we are now the market is somewhere down here so we are profiting uh, on this one and we expecting the market to drop all the way down here so this intraday strategy is something different than i trade the long term but uh, both must be considered uh, okay so for this one i it's a losing trade anyway 
and uh, and uh, for now um, I don't see any opportunity. Mm, I still believe it could come higher, but I will wait, uh, as I said, in these uh, levels. Uh, for the Aussie, Aussie is uh, in this range for a long time, and look what is happening. So we can see some traders are shorting, some are taking the longs, and it's still like around 50-50. So and what is happening here so look it's basically this so you can see this high and this one and then the market makes the break they take the people to the trade then they keep them in the range then they break this take people to the range to the uh, inside and they keep them in the range this and you see they still doing this uh, so they what they doing they accumulating the positions of the retail traders and when it's gonna be more more uh, on the one side, on the short side, on the other side, then they take the market on to the side where they will break more traders. Now we have 4% of the stop losses uh, on this, around uh, this level and 3% here. What I would be interested is uh, to take a sell limit here because uh, I'm not, okay, market could come up here, but uh, I will not do this anymore, so I will wait for the short. So this is it for Aussie and the pound. This was the Brexit yesterday. Uh, now it's you know it's not uh, on the top and on the low. We are somewhere here, and it could go anywhere. Could, they could make this correction again, or they could even go higher. I don't I don't see any edge here, so I don't touch it. This is the Kiwi. Same situation. The range and pink, pink, pink. They just, they just, they just uh, taking the people to this range, and uh, then they will move it occasionally. As I expect, the stronger dollar uh, with doing the, as I see it on the other pairs, I don't have to watch the uh, the dollar index. Uh, so I see that uh, most of the pairs are like, um, let's call it. I don't like this one, but let's call it uh, overbought. So I expect the corrections on them, and uh, uh, I ex so what could happen here is something like this. So they could take the market to the top and then down. And what this is basically what uh, what already happened on the euro on the euro. If we look higher time frame, so we see that uh, he was this uh, levels. Then they move it up. They attracted to the peop attracted people long so they have a lot of buyers now which are losing and then they taking them down and when something like this start to happening on the on some pairs uh, you can expect it on the other pairs and the euro euro is one of the pairs which is the leading one so it could lead the market and uh, what is basically now we we waiting for the, this happen on the gold then we have similar situation on the Aussie the pound, it's it's a uh, it's a own story because uh, here is this Brexit, and the Kiwi you can see we have as well uh, this, so we expect this fake out and this one, and the opposite is uh, on the on the cat. So on the cat, uh, you can see how many stop losses, how many people are wrong here. So if the strong dollar will come, we could go up. So I expect on the here something like this. The correction and you, you can see the frank it's already uh, happened so we had this uh, we had this uh, uh, accumulation then the fake and then they taking up so it's uh, this what I said that I'm expecting to happen it's already happening on some pass and it's it's the it's the these uh, go is it's the euro and the franc because they correlating a lot and now i'm expecting to happen this something similar on the kiwi canadian dollar aussie and gold this is the usd jpy and this one have as well own story because uh, here was this thing and the, and the fundamental data from the japan uh, uh, is uh, they expecting uh, the wrong economy, bad economy, and uh, that's why maybe the market is moving up. But this is still, you know, of course we trade intraday, so I'm not gonna looking, I'm not gonna be looking for the trades like this. However, uh, this one is still ranging now, and the more traders are on the short side. However, 
this is uh, a bit changing. So uh, might we would see we will see the move higher, uh, but I don't see any edge for entry here. So I skip this trade. This is the Aussie N, and as I said, I expect the correction on the on the many major spares. So I expect the strong dollar. So it could bring the weak Aussie. Uh, and we will probably see this correction. Uh, the another clue is that uh, the more trades are on the long side, so the market makers could take them down, and it could as well happen first with this fake out. And this is the euro, oh, euro yen. Here is uh, here is basically this. You can see some similarity between these pairs. So this is the euro yen, and uh, as I said, the euro is uh, the one of the leading pairs. So you can see that. It's already taking down on the euro yes and I said I'm expecting something similar on the yen so uh, Aussie yen so could happen uh, this is the euro Aussie here I am in the very bad trade and uh, I as well made this mistake that I entered on this top to and I was expecting the market uh, to come up for, to pick up these stop losses however it didn't happen just by a couple bits so I'm trapped in this trade and uh, I still believe it will go up and I probably will add uh, one more position. This is uh, what I shouldn't do in this strategy, but uh, I have one trade here, one trade here. And look how many people are entering to the shorts and where we are getting uh, is, uh, is uh, this level. So we are slowly getting into the big low. So the market already almost made all, this, all its moves and it will be correcting and more people is getting to the short so some correction with the weak Aussie uh, could come in and I will be looking for that to enter one one more trade which will put my average uh, somewhere around 159 and then I will be uh, exiting the strategy from the trades here is the pound yen pound yen is uh, with the with this pound uh, it's uh, it's the different than the other yen pairs but what do we see here we see we saw this breakdown then moved up and uh, this is difficult to trade uh, after this uh, something like this happened I could expect to move it up because uh, the yen uh, yen is not so strong and the pound I expect it to be bit stronger because uh, this is uh, the bullish activity look at this volume which was rising when the market was going down and then on the pin bar they moved to get up so higher probability is that the market will come up first um, to this uh, supply zone and um, but I'm not gonna enter here I, what I what I aim is to enter the lows or highs in here if I decide to go long which is even looking more more uh, that it's uh, that it has more chance that it is uh, gonna happen I will not do that that's uh, something what I don't want to and this is this is the big advantage that I'm doing these videos because uh, I post the trades which I enter and then I see the mistakes which is the perfect so um, I so for this intraday strategy no no way to end now so this is it okay so it's uh, the pairs which I'm which I'm trading right now and uh, so if we look back uh, for the opportunities so what I will be looking is to the short gold around here but uh, I have to wait for this trade uh, till then I'm not interested to do anything then uh, the euro, I expect it to go higher. However, uh, the long term it's a downtrend, so uh, maybe the sell limits uh, around here. But not, I think that for the uh, intraday, not uh, nothing. Aussie sell limits uh, from seven to five nine nine. Pound, I don't touch it. The Kiwi, it's uh, the sell limits uh, from these levels, uh, 7849. USD CAT, buy limits, a bit lower, probably somewhere around here because I expect 
the market makers. They're going to make, you know, this, which we already seen in the past videos, that they always make j just a bit above and uh, so they just can touch a bit lower. So I think I will, might put this, uh, put the trade uh, here, uh, the buy limit for sure. And the next one is uh, Frank. Frank is already moving up and um, I will be looking to take a long, but I will wait for the for some for some nice correction first. Because don't want to enter the these highs. Um, I would put it here because uh, the reason is uh, that uh, here is after this accumulation market start to move up, and here is the sellers. So the market makers might could go down but i don't think they will want to give a chance to the sellers to win so i'm going on next one is uh, usdjpy and this one uh, no trade yet aussie the sell limits around these levels uh, euro and nothing euro aussie it's uh, still moving like this and uh, I think uh, I will enter the another trade here because I still expect it to move back so ooh, bye and uh, I will put all my take profits uh, up here I think it still could make uh, uh, all these move up so this from this intraday trade happen a bit long term trade however this is not any big uh, big losing so that's why it's always too good to trade uh, low uh, against uh, to your equity because this is just 100 accounts so i trade of course 0 0.01 and the pound yen pound yen is moving up so i said that might it could work to uh, go sell me down here let's see uh, but uh, i think i will put this trade looks good for me okay so this is it for today thank you very much my friends and if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me bye bye